Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video and today I'm working with this photo. It's of me and the kids and I have photo edited this photo in um, Photoshop. I've got an older version of Photoshop and I just played around with the different uh, kind of contrast and the levels and colors and got this really burnt out or um, very contrast rich and uh, also very color rich photo and uh, I really liked it and uh, the pink tones in the photo goes really well with this collection that I'm working with at the moment. So this is the, the photo and uh, I'm matting it onto pink cardstock and I will use this floral as my main um, white pattern paper on the page. Uh, this will be a fairly white layout for being me and you know that I've been working a lot with trying to, to find my um, my comfort <laughs> when it comes to, to, to using white space on a page and, and this is one of those uh, attempts that I'm, I've made. And, I, and I'm fairly pleased with, with how this one turned out. This floral is also a piece of my my uh, kind of my challenge for myself to to not use these kind of pattern papers too much still showcase them but don't not be afraid to put things above I will use this dark blue uh, piece as a, like a shelf on my page for my photo cluster to sit on and uh, I, I thought that was a really nice idea. Uh, that was one of the papers that I had uh, picked out to use as a contrast or, or a complement to this collection. I realized when I started working with this Healthy Hello Soup uh, collection that I needed something to tone down the very bright and very um, bald pattern papers. So. Uh, a selection of cardstocks in the same colors were the, just the right solution for me. Now I'm detail cutting uh, one of these flowers to, to use as embellishment. All these flowers or flower clusters on these uh, this pattern paper are the same and that kind of annoys me <laughs> because I really much prefer when they are different so that you can get different pieces when you uh, detail cut them, but uh, all of the uh, fo like the bouquet on on this page were the same. But uh, I can change them up by displaying just a portion of them and uh, making it, yeah, d turn them in in different directions. On this page, I will only use this one that I have placed in on the top uh, embellishment uh, area here. So you can see that I'm using several of the cardstock uh, colors that I've chosen. This photo is from a day uh, this past summer, uh, or this, this summer uh, of this year, when we, we were visiting my mom uh, in the southern part of Sweden, and we went for a whole day to Linköping. And Linköping is a town it's the biggest town in the vicinity of, of where my mother lives and uh, my mother's uh, new partner uh, he has an apartment there so I I assume they go there quite often uh, these days and uh, we went there and we during the the morning would be we visited uh, a really nice coastal place called Barry and I'm sure that you will <laughs> over the next couple of weeks see a lot of photos from Barry and uh, then we went for lunch and our original plan was to have lunch at IKEA you know the restaurant at IKEA it's very very affordable and the food is great and the kids love it and <laughs> but when we got there the the line to get food it was enormous and and they even had a a, a sign telling how how long you were supposed to wait because before you got to the to the uh, the ordering place so we 
we were already quite hungry so so we we didn't want to to stay in, in line for that amount of time and uh, we just roamed the ikea uh, place and, and the like the mall next to ikea and then we found this really really nice restaurant and uh, we uh, decided to to eat there instead and uh, i took this photo while the kids and i were waiting for for the food to arrive so it's it's a selfie of of the three of us and and i i really like it because we look happy and we are together and and we are yeah having a really nice time today i'm also using this these uh, sticker sheets that came with the collection and uh, i'm spelling the word lin shopping the, the the name of the city we are in uh, with the alpha stickers that came on these sticker sheets and i'm also using the script font stickers and i'm uh, i've chosen the hello so that's will this will be the the title of the page hello lin shopping and uh, I've also made use of some fabric buttons that I bought at TGR and TGR it's basically one of these um, stores where where you can buy odd things <laughs> like you never know what you're going to find but it's lots of, of, of just trinkets and and uh, fairly cheap stuff and uh, sometimes you you have you're lucky and you find lots of scrapbooking related products like these buttons for example and stickers and sometimes you just don't find anything <laughs> but i love to go there because they're also always a very fun collection of just things and uh, they, they are uh, cheap and these buttons i've had them in my collection for quite some time but together with this collection they they fitted perfectly in color and and i like that so uh, one button goes in each corner of the of the layout I've outlined the whole page with my black pen and I'm also uh, going to uh, put some uh, like y you know it's very popular with this um, crystal drops and the enamel accent from Ranger and I have an old product called a paper pen it's from a company called Viva Viva color or Viva design or something like that and I've had them for for a couple of years in my collection and uh, now when it's really popular to use these enamel accents and the crystal drops I found them uh, when I was looking for for a similar pro product in my stash and then I realized that I didn't need to buy all colors <laughs> for from the the, the new um, the new products and uh, that made me want to use these uh, a bit more so i'm using the uh, yellow uh, paper pen to make some some dots uh, by my uh, embellishment clusters or my three corners of this page i'm also using my blue dark blue ink to stamp with my roller stamp in a couple of places on the page i really love the effect that this gives because it it bridges the the white with the the patterns or, or the colors by by just stamping on both um, of these areas uh, I bridge the gap or the contrast between them I, I think it's a really nice effect and and it it gives a, a, a nice uh, impression on, on the page so happy little moment <laughs> Yeah, here are some close-ups of the finished page and I'm, I'm really happy about this one even though it's got a lot of white space <laughs> it, it, it doesn't even look like a page that I've done so but uh, fun for for for, uh, for a change I hope that you have enjoyed this process video and I hope to see you soon here in my channel again take care this is Osa bye